channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a full face of first impressions so you may have seen on my tiktok which is now banned while i'm filming this video hopefully when this is posted my tiktok will be unbanned but i'm trying my best to get it back up but anyway while my tiktok was up i posted a sephora haul it got quite a lot of likes i ordered just a bunch of makeup and skincare that i've been wanting recently i did a first impressions on my tiktok but i thought i'd do a more in-depth one where i give my actual opinion on each product i hope you guys enjoy today's video this is everything i got in this bag it's actually full to the brim there's so much stuff in here choosing these little skincare clips and putting my hair back we're gonna start off with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. It's so pretty, it's like a glass bottle. So yeah, I'm just gonna spritz my face with it so it's nice and damp for when I put on my hyaluronic acid. It literally smells of a spa, it's so nice. I didn't have like a face mist, I had to just like refresh my skin. So I got this because I've heard really good things about it. I've used this before, I just got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I got a refill because I ran out of mine. But I literally love this stuff. I use it for my morning and nighttime skincare routine because it just made my skin so like clear. So it's the one from The Ordinary. And I've learned that you should put it on your hands first, not put it like directly in your face. So that like avoids like kind of germs and any like that. Oh, any bacteria like getting on your skin from the applicator. I should, like, pat this in to my skin before moisturizer. Next, we're gonna make the iconic skincare smoothie. So I got the whipped cream quite a few weeks ago and I've been loving it so much. It's just the drunk elephant whipped cream one. I think the purple is supposed to be for more like younger skin. The uh, green one's more for like aging skin. And I splurged and I got the hydration serum from Junk Elephant. But I managed to get this for £27. What a bargain. Actually, it's supposed to be 44 But then I had a coupon code that got me £10 off, like 25% off. So that took it down to 33 And then I had a £5 off voucher. So I got it for like 27 28 But it's the Junk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. So this is what it looks like. I'm just obsessed with like the packaging where you turn this thing. Take one pump of... That was a lot that I normally do, oops. Um, and then take that and put that in with the moisturizer and just rub that around on my face. It's literally so moisturizing. I put way too much moisturizer on, but I just love making the serum. I think it's so much fun. I just do that on my skin. I would normally add bronzing drops, but I'm so confused. Do you use bronzing drops before or after your sunscreen? So I got a new sunscreen, but I don't know whether to use my bronzing drops first. Anyways, then I just moisturize this into my skin. I'm literally obsessed with how moisturizing this is. I think it's totally worth the money if you can get some money off. Look how glowy my skin looks now. Okay, so now that we've put on all the moisturizers and my skin is looking so clear, we're gonna go in with a sunscreen. So I finally bought a sunscreen because I never used to use sunscreen in the morning. Matilda uses like a sunscreen every day and it makes the skin look so glowy. So I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide sunscreen. I'm literally obsessed with anything watermelon scented from Glow Recipe. So I knew I had to get their sunscreen and also the packaging is so nice and it's an SPF 50. I used a small bit on my TikTok video and then people commented saying it's best to use three fingers to get the amount you need. I'm gonna put this on three fingers because apparently that like measures the amount you need. So I think that's how much you're supposed to use. And then I'm just gonna take that and put it on my skin. I hope it's good though, because I've seen a few of you saying that it's peels, like it's quite a peeling sunscreen. But apparently if you put like the right base underneath, it won't do it. And also apparently if you keep it in your skincare fridge, it helps. I can kind of smell a watermelon. It's not as strong as their other products. I'm actually going out to this like netball thing today and that's why I'm like getting ready. It's like a presentation like awards thing. And I'm also watching a netball match after. Absolutely love anything from Glorious. I really like the feel of this product to my skin. That's all like my skin prep. We can now go on to primer. I've been wanting this primer for ages. I actually got this when I went to Selfridges. I recently got the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and I use this more for like school makeup. When I'm putting more makeup on, I will use this Refi one. So it's the Refi Face Primer Glow and Sculpt and it's that primer that's got like a little roller ball on the end and I absolutely love anything from Refi. So as you can see, it's got like a little roller ball on the end. You squeeze out the product and then you just gently rub it up your skin. It is like the coolest thing ever. It's kind of giving like the effect of like a jade roller. I feel like if you put this in your skin fridge, it'd be really cold. But I don't know if you're supposed to do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna gently rub this up my skin. I don't really understand how you're supposed to like sculpt with this. Maybe if you like put it up your jawline. It feels really nice. It's got like, I think it's got hyaluronic acid and stuff. I think that's all the product I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna gently rub it in. I obviously don't know how hygienic it is to be put 
putting that on your skin all the time. But I guess if you like wash your face before, there's not really anything wrong with using it because it's kind of the same as just putting like a jade roll on your skin. That has made my skin so soft and glowy. So now we need to move on to my main makeup and actually my base and everything. So I didn't get an actual new base product because I just love Primark Floss Filter and that collection filter finish too much and I think for the price it does the job and I'd rather spend like more money on like high end like blush and bronzer combos. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with my normal base combo. I'm just going to put my base on and I'll come back with you guys. Okay, so I've just done my base. It's so nice and glowy and I also did my eyebrows with just a clear eyebrow gel. But now we're going to do concealer. I got the Dior Flash Perfector Concealer all over my For You page. So I really wanted to try it out. I was a bit like, I don't know what shade to get because it's very hard, like, matching your shade online. But I ended up picking shade 2N, so that's one I've got. And it actually is the most perfect shade for me. Like, it matches me perfectly. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. A brush applicator. So it's like a little brush. I'm gonna put it under my eyes. I'm gonna show you like the shade match. And then I'm gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. And just look how perfect this blends out. It's absolutely insane. I think this might be the favourite product that I got. And I got it thinking it was going to be like £35. Because it's obviously like a Dior product. It was only 23 Which is still quite pricey for a concealer. But for Dior, if you want to like feel a bit more bougie. I think it's really good to like save your money to get. And I'm actually obsessed. I was so shocked. I was really scared it was going to be orangey. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Force Finish. The Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. In the shade 1 Fair. I was going to get 2 Medium. Everyone was saying that that's quite orange. Oh, I got this. I was using the Maybelline Fit Me one. I wanted to get something a bit more fancy. I've seen videos of people putting this on under their eyes and it made them look seamless. I use this with a little powder puff. These ones you can get from Sheen. They're just all heart ones, which is so cute. So yeah, I'm going to try this out now for you guys. The packaging is gorgeous. This is the shade so it still is quite dark it's not like really light and white which i thought it was gonna be so take my little powder puff and just press a bit onto it and then i gently tap it under my eyes look at that look how like airbrushed that side of my face look compared to this side it was 38 pounds so quite expensive for a setting powder but I was willing to spend the money because it looked actually good. I'm gonna pat a bit onto my forehead as well. The concealer in this, best under eye combo ever. So now we've got to do all like the powder, bronzers, liquid blushes and stuff. These are all the stuff that I bought. So we're gonna start with bronzer. So I bought the Benefit Hula one because I wanted to use a powder bronzer for school. I'm still gonna use my Fi one today because I love it so much. I'm gonna tap this in first and then set it with the Hula. So I'm just gonna put this up my cheeks. You guys have seen me use this like a million times. But it will literally use the most seamlessly blend bronzer so i'm just blending out the bronzer now we're going to set it with the hula bronzer one so i'm just taking this big fluffy brush from primark dabbing this up my cheeks obviously this was like viral back in like 2017 2016 and it gives your face such like a natural bronzy glow that is all my bronze done okay so now that we've done my bronzer we can go with blush and i got two new blushes i've got to choose from so i'm gonna unbox them both so first one i got is the makeup by mario soft pop blush stick and i got this one in the shade raspberry it literally like the most gorgeous color ever first of all it comes with a little brush on the bottom that you can blend out your blush with and then this is the actual colour. Are you ready? On camera, it really doesn't like pick up the colour. In real life, it is so pretty. I don't know why it's not picking it up on camera, but it's like the perfect like bright red. So I can either use this blush or we can use the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in shade Nearly Rose. First of all, packaging, insane. And then this is the shade, again, doesn't pick up how bright it is. They're both very similar colours, to be honest. But yeah, I don't know which one to use, but I think I'm going to try this one because I've been using using the past few days for school so all i do is it's so pigmented so you only need a tiny bit i'm just put a bit there and a bit there and then blend it in with the end of this brush and then a bit of my sheen brush so i'm just gonna tap it in to my cheek very very pigmented i don't even think you need as much as i use yeah look how pretty that's made my cheeks look so that is the blush all blended out my skin just looks so glowy from all that skin prep i'm gonna use a new highlight so i also got a rare beauty product a positive light silky touch highlighter in the shade mesmerize i'm gonna box this i'm gonna have to go for lunch in a bit but this again the packaging these two together oh like look how glowy that looks so i'm gonna apply it with some people on my tiktok said it's best to use in like a c motion with a little brush from real techniques and then the highlight so i'm gently tap a bit and just like put it up <gasps> 
I put too much on. Pigmented that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat it off any excess with this little beauty blender. How glowy has that made my skin? I've got the Rare Beauty liquid highlight. This one. I just got a bit on my finger and I'm just gonna tap it on my nose in a little exclamation mark and then put a bit in the corner of my eyes. So now we're looking nice and very highlighted. I'm gonna set all this makeup in place. I finally got a new setting spray and I've got the Charlotte Tilbury one. I've heard so many good things about this. So it's the Airbrush Floor Setting Spray. Part of your night, stay all day. And it's supposed to like fix your makeup for like 24 hours. This is the packaging. I love Charlotte Tilbury products. And I'm just gonna spritz my whole face with this. It also has a really nice smell. Like, I love the scent. I'm just like fan my face with this. That is my whole glowy base done. I'm actually obsessed with how it turned out today. Now we need to do my eyelashes and then my lip. I will be done with the full face. Okay, so now for lashes, we're gonna choose my Sheen eyelash curler and just curl this. And now we're just gonna use a new mascara that I got. So I got the telescopic one because I've been wanting to try a more lengthening mascara. This one I got from Boots, so I didn't get this one from Sephora. But I'm gonna show you guys the magic. I've been using this all week. It's so good. Look at that difference. I'm gonna do both the eyelashes. I'll come back to you guys because I look horrific putting on my lashes. Okay, so I've finished my lashes. They're so long. And I'm just gonna use a little cotton bud to wipe off my eyelids. Because I'm sorry, you haven't done your lashes right if you haven't got mascara on your eyelids. Now we can finally move on to my lips. I'm gonna be showing you guys these two today. So the first one I got is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm. It's supposed to be more of a lip balm than like a lip gloss. So this is what it looks like. Their packaging always is so good from Too Faced. So so this is the watermelon scent. I've not got much smell, but I can smell the watermelon. It does give a bit of like a tingling, but I think all Too Faced lip products too. But today I'm gonna be trying out the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I've been seeing this all over my For You page. It's kind of like a pen, but a lip gloss at the same time. It's what the packaging looks like, and then you just pump up this end, and then just go like that on your lip. So for lip liner, I'm just gonna use my trusty Refi one. This one's in the shade Blush. And then you just like tap it up, so the product's there, and then watch this color how glossy and like the prettiest color as well. That's the final step in my new makeup routine. My desk is an absolute tip right now, but it's giving Pinterest scary to me vibes. Yeah, that is my finish, first impressions, full face of new makeup. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and my little first impressions makeup look. I have a sore throat now from talking for like 20 minutes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.